Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV for the first time in a long time. River Wilson Vent, my brother, very good to see you. Um, yeah, it's been a while since your fight on the Anthony Joshua card. Um, how are we? Yeah, I've been good, man. I've been uh, in some real good fights as well. I boxed for a Commonwealth silver title against Ryan Kelly in November. I lost it. It's one of them, mate. I worked myself. I just, just changed teams at the time, so I was in between the two styles. Um, and then, yeah, I, I didn't win, but one of them. Can't dwell on it too much. But then, since then, I've went back to Bran and uh, back at home at Bulco and just enjoying it now, yeah. And I'm here. I'm here today. As long as you're enjoying it, that is the main thing. Um, Izzy asked up there how much you'd seen of GBM. I'm pretty sure he does that just so people say how good his shows look. Um, you said you had seen a couple of the shows that they've done, seen bits on Instagram and some of their shows from, from Sheffield. Um, this is a really good and growing platform. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've, um, obviously, I was up in, I went up in Sheffield. I've seen the Sheffield card. Um, and yeah, it just looked wicked fireworks. It just it's banging. Seeing the smoke, the cameras, the action. And then I was like, yeah, okay, this is coming to commentary. I was talking to John, like, John, get me on this. And uh, like I said, yeah, I'm here now and uh, weighing tomorrow and Saturday. Fireworks are going to really begin. Well, I think we go back to the Skydome, a little bit of history between you and IFL and the interviews we've done. Um, do you still think about that fight with Tyler? I mean, that was one of the most emotional nights from behind the scenes that I've seen in boxing between the two teams and everything that happened. Um, so I suppose memories, be it good or bad, at the Skydome? Yeah, man, they're all good memories when you look back, ain't they? Like, the older you get, at the time it was only stressful and a bit upset. At the time it's the worst thing in yeah, the world. Of course, but when you look back, you're like, bloody hell, it's great to be in a fight like that with Tyler. Tyler's obviously gone on to win a European title now and he, he's smashing it. And uh, obviously everybody's always asking me the question, would you like to rerun it with Tyler? And of course I would, do you know what I mean? But obviously he's standing in that position now where he's going to be saying, oh, you've got to prove yourself, you've got to get to my level now. And um, you know what, I will get to there, but um, I'm on my own path at the minute and I'm doing my own thing, so yeah. When you look at the defeats that you've had and you look at the level of opposition that they are, um, I guess defeats can be taken negatively when looking at someone's record. Um, but like I said, when you look at the actual fighters, I think it shows kind of whereabouts you are. Yeah, I always fight the good kids, man. Like Tyler, top lad, um, Hamza Shiraz, Amo Williams, Ryan Kelly. The lads that I've lost to are just very good lads, very good boxers. And uh, like I just say, Hamza Shiraz, you've seen what he did to Liam Williams. Um, and it just goes to show at the level that I've been, I've been actually fighting at. So it's just nice to come back now, be on the rebuild again, get this, get back on winning ways, and then push, man. Like, that's what I want. I want the English title, and uh, there is a little bit of talks in the background of that coming up again, so it'll be good if we can get that back on GBM. Have you planned too much? Or like, have, you, have you kind of planned a certain amount of time ahead in the future of what you want? No, not really. I, I do just go with the flow, but obviously I've got my eyes on other things, and I'm, to be fair, mate, I want titles, but like I said up there, it's money, man. I want to make as much money as I can out of the sport, and... That's, that's, the, that's the blatant truth. Um, yes, yeah. that signified why you jumped to take the Hamza Shiraz fight quite quickly. Because yeah. it had been quite a financially rewarding... Uh, no, mate, to be fair, the Hamza Shiraz fight, honestly, when I took the fight, I was like, I'm going to knock him out. I've seen Bradley Swat happen with Bradley like, Ski. Mate, I was, I was like, oh, I'm going to can this kid. And then, uh, yeah, I learned very quickly that that weren't going to happen. Do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, it's fucking... I got paid well for it, I can't lie. But, yeah, it's just... Yeah. Great experience, <laughs> getting battered. <laughs> so it's money, belts, and leaving a bit of a legacy as well. They're kind of the three things you want from, from this kind of stage of your boxing career. Yeah, man, that's it. I want to earn enough money, as much money as I can at the sport, and win as many titles as I can, and I'll be a happy man. That's it. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.